Hello, this is Kathleen McKee of Olene.com, Machine Embroidery Art. A member of the Facebook group I belong to on PE Design Next in 10 asked the question on how to add a black outline around this map of Texas, a design file that she owned. And it is in stitches, as you can see. You see the little black dots around it? That means it's in stitches and you're unable to manipulate the pieces individually like you would be able to if it were in blocks. Now you could uh, convert it to blocks, but the way to get that black outline around it, uh, I originally thought, well maybe just manually do it because it wouldn't take very long. But the best way to do it is to go up to your stitches and you're going to convert it to outline. So I'm going to convert to a whole outline. Now you see it turned everything blue because it was in stitches. If it was in blocks it wouldn't have done that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to the uh, line sew and we're going to add a zigzag and we're going to go to the region fill and we're going to turn it off. Now I think I want to add a little bit more width to it so I'll be sure it covers the ends of the design and I'm going to lower the density just a little bit. I don't like my uh, outlines to be that stitch intensive. Now that we have this we're going to change the color to black. I'll go to the brother embroidery colors and I'll just get black. And now I'm going to go to import and I'm going to import the original Texas flag and import it. Last thing we need to do is drag that black outline from the first zone to the last zone under your sewing order and then we're gonna save it as the uh, flag with outline. And that's the best way to do it that I can figure out. 